and try to fix it? You could know it's happening and try to deny it? I know what I'm talking about here. Am I helping anybody here? Yeah. You could be afraid of the pain of it. Yeah. You could be afraid of the discomfort of it. And you could tell yourself, as long as I don't deal with it, it won't hurt. But when God gets ready to reveal something or expose something, he is not going to stop until he gets it done. Because everything that you encounter is going to bring up something about that situation. Can I finish this, baby? What you have to do then, if God exposes you your weakness, you become humble. You repent. You go back and say, I don't care what you did. I'm sorry for what I done. And then if you did, if you're the one who had been manipulated, you thank God that he exposed it. Yes, Lord. And then you look for what he's gonna do in your life next. Amen. Glory to God. You deal with this comfort. You deal with it because God definitely let, let us stand. Glory to God. I'm asking you to, to, to remain prayerful. Just, I want every one of us to walk in our perfect destiny. Man, just give up. I said this is uh, uh, some people in my life over the last two months saying, just give up, just stop. You know what I mean? Just, just tell the truth. Just stop. Just, just stop. Just, just stop. But sometimes they don't hear you. Grab your neighbor's hand. Good to see you, Crystal. I want to pray with you, and then I'm going to do an altar call and receive the offering. And I'm also going to ask you to pray for, uh, I'll be right on time, to pray for, pray for your, your, your church members. I want to see every one of us walk in our destiny and our purpose. And there are things that happen along the way that become very painful and you know, you want to see people recover from it. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you ever had a child, you'll understand a pastor's heart. When you see a child going down the wrong road, and you begging them, you're not doing the right thing. Check yourself. And they refuse to do it. Oh God, I like it. And, and then Dana, like I did with my son at 18 years old. Mm. It gets to the point where you say that child, enough is enough. Yeah. You gotta go live somewhere else. Wow. Y'all ain't ready for this kind of message here. Wow, wow. It's hard, thank you. It's very hard. It hurts. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. It's even more painful when that child turns around and try to make it your fault. Amen. Grab your neighbor's hands, please. Not that you're guiltless. You did some things that shouldn't have been done. Somebody say amen. amen. But we all need to take responsibility for our behavior, man. Come here, baby. I don't really like doing this all the time. I'm I had to take responsibility for my behavior. Amen. And I had to sit it down and say, listen, this is the deal, this is what happened. And I'm sorry. We have to move forward now. Amen. Amen. Because when God said to us, I've made you a model marriage. Amen. There has to be a testimony that goes with that. Ain't nobody clapping. Yeah. There has to be a history of you've endured this and you've endured that yes. and you've endured this. And I begin to tell them the things that we've endured together. Yes. And this is just one more thing. Yes. 
and if we stand together and hold hands, Mr. Cotton, we'll get through this with a testimony. I plan not to do this, but this is a kingdom kind of ministry. Every experience has purpose, and I'm helping somebody.